Bore subset on sixes correlated with Mariah's breasts. 99 and then underneath that little then underneath that ways to read by the subconscious mind waste right to make over your home and it's shaped like a woman in a dress they put it right next to her and I ask people I put the magazine down in front of them I say how do you perceive Mariah Carey's body usually they say curvy she's not curvy at all she's very large very big boned okay but because of that and how they position her on that people perceive her to have an hourglass figure then I show them the paragraph and they're like, oh my God. I said, that's primary, but there's also secondary and tertiary. And I show them the hidden words. I say, imagine with Adobe Photoshop, if I took like a paintbrush function and started writing, but made the ink like 97% transparent. Make them understand, you see, right on the threshold of conscious perception. So that your subconscious mind, which sees everything, will see it. But your conscious mind won't unless you know that it's there or are looking for it. I take a little paper clip so I have a real fine pointing device and then I show them the word obey and sex and all of that. I show them sex on her face and in various places and people are like, oh my god, of course if it's the first time they see this, it shocks them. And then I show them where there's a paragraph This is Mariah's new attitude. I say, look, look at this paragraph. It's left justified except for the word new. Why would they pull the word new all the way over? And then I show them to line the N up above the U-D-E in attitude, nude, all the subconscious things. Make them understand. That's why they get you all playing crossword puzzles and stuff in the newspaper to condition your mind to see forward, backward, up, down, left, right. All right? So the subconscious will follow suit. But right above that, hidden, is blatantly obvious two words. God, G-O-D, lies, L-I-E-S. Now, people, it's one thing to watch an internet video where somebody highlights it for you, but you're not fully trusting it because you don't know whether they did it. It's another thing to do it in person with a magazine they know you didn't make. You see what I'm saying? There is no doubt when you do it in person. There is no way for them to say, you did that. You know, the little minds trying to argue on like, you did that. You're just predicting. You you know, they, you're not going to go through any of that. They're in shock, you see. What you've done is you've made them see for themselves, which is irrelevant of their belief system because they can't deny it. And guess what? They want to know why. They're going to want to know why sex is all over the page, seek sex, Satan is good, God lies. They're going to want to know. And because they can see it, that energy has risen. That's when you've got to clearly point them in the right direction. Now they're open to spirit. And that's where you can make sure they understand that these people control religion as well. And this is where you can completely pull someone out of their paradigm. I do it all of the time. I went store to store in many different states. I'm not sitting around on the internet sending emails back and forth. I'm going out there in the public and the best way to approach them is to show them how their mind is being circumvented and the messages that are being used. Just last night, you know, I went to a gas station is a good place to do it. I showed a girl two days ago and the next day I came in, she said, well, what can you see on this new magazine? There was a new Glimmer magazine. I said, oh, okay. Well, I grabbed it and looked and within 20 seconds, 666 is right on her nose, but spelled out. S-I-X. I mean, blatantly, on the, on the July issue of Glamour Magazine, right in the bridge of her nose, is clearly S-I with a dot over it, X. And then six is underneath it and underneath that. And she's like, oh my God. Because, you know what I'm saying? I can grab any magazine and do it. That's very important. And then everybody that came into the gas station said, excuse me both males and females of all different personality types every single one of them saw it some people came in and I showed them that and then I made them understand that that's happening people would be like wow thanks for opening my eyes to that 15 seconds of my time why hundredth monkey hundredth monkey get it up there into the collective subconscious every attempt helps so that people know what's going on 
for example, I went into this restaurant called Noodles and Company. I was sitting there waiting for my food, and they had this big poster with asparagus on it, this big piece of asparagus, all right? Uh-huh, phallus. I'm like, oh, I'm sure the word sex is on there, and I looked at it, about four or five seconds, there it was, transparently written. I went up and made sure it was there. And then I called one of the employees over, and I quickly told her about the conscious subconscious mind, I told her about Adobe Photoshop, and imagine writing something very transparent. I said, there's a word right here, and I pointed to it, but I didn't tell her what it was. I just said the words there. And then she did the typical reaction. Oh, my God! Yeah. What's the word? Oh, sex? Let's see, not projection, people. This is why doing it in person is so incredibly important. The online videos are a teaching tool, but you've got to be able to do it in person, or you're not going to be effective. Next thing I know, a whole crowd of people around me. And their belief systems kicked in. Oh, those advertisers. I said, advertising? Advertising? This is a public restaurant. See that kid over there? You think that kid can read? Yeah, do you know your subconscious mind sees everything? Advertising? I have a handout for this insurance company that has this picture of a statue on it. And they just edited into the statue the word flag subconsciously transparently and then the ripped American flag. Do you understand what I'm telling you? This is a worldwide effort of the secret societies under the control of this cancerous consciousness that people often refer to as Satan. It's not a joke. So anyway, you're not going to be able to convince people to break out of their mold unless they have good reason. Seeing how they're being incredibly manipulated, even though the subliminal messages are bare minimum, that's enough. It's enough to spark their interest. Believe me, they're going to want to know why. And you've got to be able to do it in person. That's why you've got to tune your mind. The best way to see subliminal messages clearly is to stop projection. Meaning, don't project any meaning onto it. Don't look for the word sex. Stop your mind, and then what you see will blow you away. Don't expect a word. Just allow yourself to perceive what is there. Most people always keep their eyes moving. Imagine, I mean, think about it. When you're looking at a painting, you're not looking at one fixed point where the negative image starts to form. So you're always looking around the image. And you're not allowing for secondary and tertiary segregation of signal, of image. Look in one point, blank your mind, and allow patterns to come out. That's how you do it. Once you learn to do it, like playing guitar, you get better at it. So good that you can go into any situation, grab a piece of literature, and within minutes you can find something that you can use to show people and they will see it. And that's very powerful. Because they're not going to be like, you did that with Adobe Photo. They can't, do you understand? They can't, they're not going to argue with it. Because it's real and it's there. So, I just wanted to put that out there. The best way to approach people is in a casual way. And just show them the subliminal messages and let their interest decide. Some people are going to be very blank-minded and they're going to ignore it. Let them go. Other people, when they see that, you don't have to approach them with anything. And please, people, don't direct them to sites about gray aliens and all these... No, 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 no. Start with knowing thyself. If you don't know yourself, how can you know what's happening around you? It's very important, okay? So anyway, I wanted to throw that out there in some of these concepts. I know, again, it's a lot to take in. But I had to put this out there for you. Alright, so that will end this particular upload. Thanks for listening.